The bank said in a statement issued late Monday that it had neither withdrawn any banknotes or coins nor issued any instruction to hand in banknotes or coins that may be contaminated. There currently is no evidence that the COVID-19 virus is transmitted through the use of banknotes and coins, said the statement. To date South Africa has recorded 62 cases, the second highest number of coronavirus infections in Africa after Egypt. Officially known as COVID-19, the virus has infected almost 180,000 people worldwide and killed more than 7,000. Foreign nationals from highly affected countries will also be denied entry from Wednesday, as the majority of South Africa's cases had recently traveled abroad. Tricksters took advantage of nervous citizens on Monday, as many people remained home and rushed to supermarkets to stock up on groceries. South Africa's biggest private health care provider Netcare warned that thieves, masquerading as doctors screening for coronavirus, were going round trying to gain access into people's homes. Criminals are going to homes in various areas claiming to be from Netcare, with door-to-door screening for COVID-19, said a statement by the Netcare group.